Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week. I want to thank uh, man Jacob for doing my show all week. I went on a nice sail, folks. I sailed from Newport to the Vineyard, all in Vineyard Sound, and then back. It was a beautiful thing. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master relationship is therefore about action. It's not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 179, NASDAQ up 159, S&P's up 37. Gold, gold contract up $5.20, traded at 2,543 an ounce. We have silver up 53 cents, $29.80 an ounce. Light Street crew down 210. $74.55 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now trading up three ticks at 113.07. The 30-year up 17 ticks at 124.07 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 576 ticks, 101.886. Euro at 110, yen 146, British pound at 129 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world, in the world of the S&Ps. Let's go take a look at the E-mini first and see what we got. We go. We've been going higher. The volume's been contracting beyond belief. That being said, this is already in the SPY, folks, almost a 10% bounce. So it's about as intense as you can get. That being said, okay, let's take a look at this E-mini. You're up 37 bucks. You had, oh, look at this. You had volume 10 minutes ago. That being, yeah. Bottom line, this thing's going to hold, man. That, that bar from 10 minutes ago, you know, with, yeah, that bar wants to, wants to hold there. Let's, let's see what the, the NQs. Now, the SPY is much stronger than the Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Well, same deal, though. It's going to hold out here today. That's what it looks like. Yeah, my take is it's going to hold today. That's from 10 minutes ago. That being said, uh, when you look at it on a longer basis, <laughs> it's just a matter of uh, how this thing's going to come down. Meaning, you know, the first time that we take a turn here. I mean, if you look at the cues, you're talking about a contraction, man. It's pretty amazing. We pull this up, and inside the cues, the contraction of volume is just huge out here today, man. I mean, it's really pretty intense. Yeah. And you're at the 0.76. Well, you're almost at the 0.76. Gold, uh, bottom line, folks, okay, you know, if you are in the gold market, well, guess what? Bottom line, this thing's going to break topside. Friday was a huge day in the gold market for the gold equities also. And they're all going. They're not all going, Okay. But the bottom line is that they are breaking topside in a, in a monster way. Let's go to Costa in Boston. Costa, what's going on, brother? You there, Costa? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? I sure can, pal. How you doing? Great. I'm doing fine. Good. I'm a happy camper, Tommy. I got new on at 33. What's, can you put a one-year yep. price target? I bought it last February. One-year price target, do you? Let's take a look. 29 is the low, 51, 39 is the high. That's out here today. That's the last 12 months. And I would stay right there because, Costa, what's happening right now, Friday was a monster day for the equities, for, for the stronger equities. Let's put it this way in the gold market. Um, we take a look at this. You know, it would be nice if you had a little more volume today, but the bottom line is that your next stop on this is 55 bucks. You break 55, man, and, you know, I think that this – this run's really starting now. Now, now you're going to start seeing straight line moves. So, what you can do, you know, of course, keep your stop in. Just keep trailing a stop, and don't put it too tight, because if this is the run, it, you know, you've had a good run because you know you had a lot of guts down at, down at the lows here, okay. But the bottom line is that this wants to go a lot farther, man. So, um, you know, I would just bring this to the stops up and stay aware of when you know in this particular case they're not coming out with earnings uh cost until october 25th so 
you actually won't have even a pre-announcement till you know end of September if the, if there is one. The the caveat here is because the S and P and the Q's have gone so dramatically with no volume. It's like okay, they take a hit, gold's going to take a hit. We know how this goes. That being said, though. I'm really bullish, and I know tomorrow morning, I wanted to watch this market today, we're going to be buying a few gold stocks for sure. Because um, they're broken topside. Some of them are broken topside. They have the volume. There's ABC structures there. There's, 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 a, there's, a, there's more than a handful that are no good. But when you take the context, if I take you know, 25 gold equities, Five might be no good, but the rest of them, are, they're trending, man, and they want to go higher. So I would just stay right there and ride the baby. Okay, my next question on gold. Yes. Dead, dead, Harry Dent just came out, said 11,000 on gold. Yeah, Harry Five Dent's out of his mind. Harry, Harry Dent told me, I think, 20,000 in 1998. <laughs> I've, I've interviewed yeah. Harry Dent a bunch of times, man. Yeah. It's, it, okay. What happens in this right. business if you can either sell fear or sell something extraordinary, that's what goes. Do you know what I'm saying? If you say that, you know, you get a crystal ball and it's going to go up to 11,000, you get business. If you say that, you know, it's the end of the world, it's Armageddon, you get business. It's the, you know, so it is what it is. I'd... Okay, my, my last question. What happens to gold if we get a depression? Up, if, down, if... stable? Well, what would end up happening is that the everything would go down. I mean, that's a you know, I don't see a depression coming. But if you have a depression, everything no, I goes down. I understand that. Huh? I understand that. Yeah. Well, if it did ever happen, I'm, I'm it, just saying it. It will go down. I mean, a, a depression, every asset class goes down. There's no, there's nothing that doesn't go down. The only thing that probably goes up, up is the amount of guns that are sold. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> because right. people will be hurting. So, I mean. Okay, Tom. Thanks. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Dow, Dow right. Industrials right now up a buck seventy. Get the Nasdaq up one sixty-two. S and P's are up thirty-six. Stay right there, folks. Got my man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up next. Okay.